Hey there, this is just a quick uh, recap of the price increases for all Model 3s and Ys uh, on May 5th, 2020. This is our third increase of the prices for the Tesla Model 3 and Y here in Canada. Um, and we had two in March and then this one here in May. So I'll just go over some of the, the numbers that I have and I've got, I got a, a quick uh, cheat sheet here that I have. So uh, I'll just go through each of the models. So the Model 3 rear wheel drive started out at the beginning of the year here for 59,990. On the March 14th price increase, there was $1,390 bringing that up to 61,380. And as of May 5th, they've now increased that by another $600. So the total price for the Model 3 rear wheel drive is 61,980. And again, no models in the Tesla lineup here in Canada qualify for any of the rebates due to the fact that they're over $55,000. So let's go on to the Model 3 Long Range, which has had the most impact in price increases this year. So we started out at $66,990 and we had a $2,000 increase. And then on March 14th, a week later, we got another $3,000 increase. And its final update for May 5th was another $3,000, the largest increase for this uh, round of price increases, bringing the increase for the entire year, which we're only in May right now, $8,000. That's just insane. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the Model 3 performance. Again, that started out at 76990 uh, they did not get a price increase in May or in the beginning of March. But then after that, they got an increase of $4,500, bringing the cost up to $81,490. $81, and then this last round, which was another $2,500, we're now looking at $83,990. Now, let's look at the price differences just as of today. This is uh, being recorded May uh, 8th. So it's $62,000 for the rear wheel drive, $75,000 for the long range, and $84,000 for the performance. So that's what we're looking at the Model 3s. So let's take a look at the Model Ys. The Model Y has had similar increases as well. So the long range started out at 76,990 with an increase of $2,000 on March 9th. A week later, it got another $4,000 increase and then this increase, which was $1,000, bringing it up to $83,990. Now, the Model Y performance uh, started out at 85,250. No increase on the first round, a $4,000 increase on the second round, and a $1,100 uh, increase on May 5th, bringing that one up to $90,390. You know, we did have a change in our taxation here in British Columbia. So earlier this year, they raised the limit on the luxury item tax for automobiles from 55,000 to 75,000. And that helped a lot of people when they were purchasing any of the vehicles because they were above the 55,000. So they were paying an additional 3%. But with these latest increases, rear wheel drive still falls under that 75,000. 
but the long range if you have any options at all you'll go above that and you will incur an additional 2200 plus in taxes for your car so just be aware of that now other things that are happening with this is interest rates have gone up so i purchased my car in december and the interest rate that was uh, provided by tesla was 3.15 if you go onto their website today with the economy and all the interest rates going up, it's now 5.15. Now, depending on your credit, you might get a, a better rate. But 5.15 makes your monthly payment quite a bit. So you have a higher price car, $8,000. We'll use the long range as an example. It's gone up by $8,000. The interest rates have gone up by 2% this year and Tesla has recently implemented a four-tier charge uh, rate for their superchargers and I just did a video where I was comparing charging with a CCS adapter or um, the Tesla V2 and what I found was that at Squamish if you're charging anywhere between 100 or 180 kilowatts, the rate was a dollar 30 at the V2 charger there in Squamish. And I kind of looked at other chargers are in the region, and that same rate, 100 to 180, was about a dollar. But at Electrify Canada, it's 57 cents a minute. And if you look at uh, Petrocan, which is another one that's out there. Petrocan offers uh, charging as well. They just have a flat rate of 27 cents per minute. And that's the best deal out there. I mean, I did charge at a Petrocan yesterday. I added 40% to my battery and it cost me like four bucks. Or five, I think it was 502, sorry. I charged for like 18 or 19 minutes and I added 40% and it was $5.02. So here in Canada, it's starting to get really expensive to own a Tesla uh, or at least get one if you want one. Um, used prices are out of control. I sold my standard range for more than what I paid for. Um, and because I had locked in my price in August of last year, I got my long range for $67,000 and right now they are, what is it, $75,000. So it's, it's about 10 grand. That's crazy. Anyway, I, I hope things turn around and the economy gets better and maybe some prices will drop. If you are looking to purchase a Tesla, go out there, put your $100 deposit. It's $100 here in Canada. I believe it's $250 in the United States. Non-refundable, so you are you know, taking a risk. But if you do plan on purchasing one, that $100 could save you thousands of dollars. <clears throat> So here are my final thoughts on the pricing now going on at Tesla. Well, you really don't have a choice. If you're looking to buy a EV right now, Tesla's the only one out there that's actually capable of providing enough electric vehicles for the demand. The, the Ford Mach-E, the Ford Mach-E, you can't book it right now. I have a friend that's waiting on the Kia EV6, which looks like a really uh, nice car. The uh, charging curve on it is amazing. It's going to be a perfect road trip car, but he's being told 2023. So, I mean, Tesla's kind of the same thing. They're looking at end of summer, end of year. It won't be long, a month or so from now, and we're going to start to hear the you know, the rumblings of, you can't get a Tesla until 2023. So it's quite unfortunate. Anyway, we just got to get through this. I'm really happy I have my car. Um, really happy that I actually got the Standard Range Plus, which was affordable at that time. 
because you could buy it for fifty-two thousand. You got an eight thousand dollar rebate, which made it a forty-five thousand dollar car. And that forty-five thousand dollars, it's you know it's up there, but it's not expensive. And then if you take into account the maintenance and the charging costs, uh, it was a great deal. I was able to sell my car for more than what I had purchased it for and use those funds to be able to upgrade to the long range. So do I expect to see more increases this year? Absolutely. I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see the uh, another increase in a couple months. I know that there's a lot of uh, demand and demand means price increases not to mention supply chain issues that everybody's having right now. I mean, the Model 3 now comes with the standard headlights. They, mine has the Matrix ones, but they don't have them anymore. They can't get them, so they're not putting them in. 